Today's video, it's about the South African-born Miss Universe Zozabina Tunzi. Welcome to Jossel Media, in this channel, we will bring you videos that will motivate you and inspire you to reach for your dreams. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button and also hit the notification bell and also leave the comments below in this video. As that said, here are the 10 things you didn't know about Zozabina Tunzi. Stick around until to the end of this video to see some fascinating facts about Zozabina Tunzi. Fact number one. She's a very educated individual. This is another plus about the pageant since a woman can't be a brainless beauty and get in. They usually have to possess some intelligence to make it this far, thus furthering the empowerment of those that look up to them. Fact number two. Her fashion sense has been lauded as being on point. It would be kind of hard to state that a Miss Universe contestant was anything but fashionable since a lot of those that walk the runway and speak their mind are usually quite up on the latest fashion trends and how to use them to their advantage. Fact number three. She is the first black woman to win Miss Universe. This is something that should have happened a long, long time ago since equality being so valued by so many it does feel as though the crown should have been resting on the head of a black woman more than a few times in the recent past. But perhaps this is the start of something that's far more equal than it's ever been. Fact number four. Tunza firmly advocates for the education of young girls. Some might not agree with her wording and some might think that it's another stab at trying to ensure that the future is female, but in a big way it is a positive movement to try and ensure that women are given an equal place in the world and given all the support that is needed and desired to do whatever they want in life. Fact number five. She's currently in her 20s. Zozabini is still fairly young, so she has a lot of time left to establish herself when it comes to being someone that can be looked up to and appreciated by a wide number of people for one thing or another. Fact number six. Her following on social media is absolutely huge. At this time, she has millions of followers and it's bound to increase as time goes on, especially if she uses her current status to her benefit in one way or another. It does seem that models tend to have some of the biggest followings on social media. Fact number seven. She was actually told to wear a wig to compete. Now how wrong does this sound? Just because of her natural hair she was told to wear a wig in order to further impress people, which she thankfully declined to do, as she came out with her own natural hair, and still wowed people with her confidence and her poise. You can imagine that a lot of people were outraged when they heard this and rightfully so since there's no reason to alter a person's look that much when she's just fine as she is. Fact number eight. She's a very family-oriented person. As Tweety Eli Chu of Bet writes, her family was there to celebrate the win and Zozabini is very close to those that raised her and have been a part of her life since birth. This is always nice to see since too many people that reach this kind of status tend to appear as kind of aloof. She's a very big family person and enjoys spending time with her loved ones. Fact number nine. Her pageantry career started up in 2017. She hasn't been up on stage for that long apparently, but she's been tearing it up in a big way since only two years into it she's attained one of the highest honors that a pageant contestant can earn. Some might call her a lightning rod for one cause or another, but really she did make herself known and was impressive enough to win. Fact number 10. She's an anti-violence activist. To some people, this might seem laughable, but when you really dig into the activism about it you might find that it's not about ending violence entirely, but instead is about making people aware of the various problems and issues that are noticed and taken up by activists and what can be done to prevent or lessen the impact of violent crimes in society. There will always be violence of some sort within humanity, but there are many times when it's not warranted. Thanks for watching this video, remember to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Also, remember to like and share the video with family and friends. Watch the next video that's appearing on the screen. Till next time, peace upon you.